Like, Jackson's birthday cake. Like, it's more just to, like, get out of there. And so we're, like... This is the logo that he designed by himself. And we made a cake yeah, like, out of it. We usually go to the arcade, and we usually go, like, to a movie. From just, like, just like, home without, like... Thank you. Many birthdays to you. Many birthdays to you. Many birthdays to Jackson. Many birthdays to you. Did I blow it up? Yep. Yes, no, you're blowing it up. Woo! Yay! Yay! Woo! What's up, everybody? I'm Kenny. And I'm Jackson. And we are JK Builders. Today, we're going to be going over and reviewing the Hogwarts Express Lego set from Harry Potter. Jackson's gonna break down the box. He's gonna tell us all about what we'll find inside. Well, it's eight to 14 plus. The item number is 75955. It's the Hogwarts Express and it's 801 pieces. And what minifigs does it come with? Um, a Dementor, the Trolley Witch, um, Professor Lupin, Ron, Harry, and, Her and Hermione. Hermione. So on the back of the box, We'll see, it just kind of goes over the details again. Uh, breaks down how it opens up so you can see the inside and all the people inside. Uh, there's a little door that opens on that car. Um, you have the station um, at nine and three quarters. Um, you have the Dementor and Harry fighting one of those. What's this lady's name? Um, the Trolley Witch. The Trolley Witch. Uh, we've been reading the Harry Potter books. We're only through, what are we, on the third book? Yeah, the third. Yeah, so I mean, we're not like super into Harry Potter. I mean, we, we like it, but we... We haven't even made it through all the books and we haven't seen all the movies. So we've seen the first two movies and read halfway through the third book. So, but we like it. We like the Lego sets a lot. So we're gonna build this one and then tell you what we think about it. All right, so there it is. The Hogwarts Express Lego set from Harry Potter. Um, pretty cool little set. Let's uh, take a closer look. All right, so here's a close up look at the Hogwarts Express headed to the Hogwarts Castle. Um, it's station nine and three quarters. Um, so some really cool things with this set You have the the engine of the train you have this little box here And then you have the passenger section of the train and then you have the train station So there's really like kind of four sections to it um, Plus some really good minifigures, which we'll talk about uh, Jax, why don't you break down what we have at the station? Well at the station like in the movie um, how they walk through the wall, they um, um, made this to represent them walking through the wall. Uh, they made um, the little bridge from when um, Hagrid and Harry, um, um, they were standing there and Hagrid told Harry to go to nine and three quarters. Oh yeah, okay. And then they had to walk through the wall to get there, right? Yeah, we see that in the movie and read about it in the book. So some pretty cool little details. You have like the newspapers here. You have a sign that says wanted. And is that Sirius Black, I yeah. assume? Yeah, you got Sirius Black wanted poster on the wall. Yeah, this cool little clock that actually moves and changes time. So that's kind of cool. Um, a sign that says King's Cross. Uh, a couple of light fixtures on the walls. Um, so some really good details. You have the sign that says uh, nine and three quarters Hogwarts Express. So I really like the details that it has. It has these little uh, support beams going on on this side. It has some really good hand railing, so some nice detail. All right, now the train itself. Um, if we start at the engine, so the wheels in the front kind of move to follow the track, but they also lock into place, so that's nice. Um, when you push it, the middle wheels don't turn, I noticed, but the rest of them do. So, yeah, some nice, were those stickers on the front? Um, no. Oh, so that's all printed? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's printed on. There was, on. like, 12 stickers. Cool. So, Jackson actually put this one together all by himself. Mm -hmm. He just turned eight years old. This is probably the biggest set he's done by himself, wouldn't you say? Yep. Yeah, so, pretty good for Jackson. It looks really good. Um, the side says Hogwarts Castle. You got the 5972 on the side. Um, Hogwarts Railway right there. All right, so the other side, kind of the same thing. You got this car right here that opens up. Um, so you can stash some stuff away in there. Not sure what. You could put a minifig in there if you wanted. Yeah. Um, the engine itself has some cool little details. What do you got in there? 
Well, you have some fire in there and you have the controls. Oh yeah. So where they burn the coal to run the engine, I'm sure. Yeah. And then the controllers and some gauges on the inside of there. And then when you open up the passenger car, the wall and ceiling come off and you can see all the minifigures fit nicely on the inside, riding on their way to the Hogwarts castle. So pretty cool. Let's take a look at the minifigures and see what we think of those. All right, so checking out the minifigures, um, we got this lady, what was her name again? Um, the Trolley Witch. The Trolley Witch, yeah, she's got some wavy hair printing on the front and back. She's got some nice pink sleeves, uh, nothing too special going on there. Um, you got Hermione, she's got the short little legs um, printing on the front and back. Pretty standard Hermione hair with her wand, looks good. Of course we got Scabbers, not officially a minifig, but definitely need to include him in the set. Um, he's heavily involved in situations when they're on the train. So uh, we got Mr. Harry Potter himself featuring the scar on his forehead. He's got the mini legs on this one too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't move. Just kind of a bummer. Oops, I just messed up his hair. Uh, but pretty standard uh, Harry Potter that I think we've seen on other Harry Potter sets. Got the printing on the front and back, nothing on the sleeves, and the little legs that don't move. Uh, we got Ron, right? Mm -hmm. um, he's got the little legs as well. He's wearing a nice little sweater with his red hair. Uh, he's got the wand as well, the legs that don't move. Cool. This is Professor Lupin, sporting the fancy mustache goatee. Um, he's got on a suit, pr printing on the front and back. Um, and just a little spiffy little hairdo he's got going on there, as well as the wand. And then of course, last but not least, you got the Dementor, which is nice and spooky. Um, I think we've seen him before in other sets as well, right? Um, so yeah, he's got the, the black um, head with the cowl and the cape that's got the holes in it. So he's actually pretty cool. I like the Dementors that they do in Lego. So I think he's probably my favorite of the, the minifigs in the set, but nothing we haven't seen before. So um, all in all, good minifigures. It's ones that it should come with. Can you think of any others that would be included in the set? Um, I would probably say Hagrid. Hagrid, yeah. Because they could meet up here and then, they, and then you could play like that whole entire scene from the movie. Yeah, where's Hagrid? But yeah, so we have a Hagrid already. So I guess if you wanted yeah. to play with Hagrid, you could do that. But anyway, pretty happy with the minifigs all in all. So along with the minifigs, there's also the cart that's being pushed by, what's her name? Um, the Trolley Witch. <laughs> by the Trolley Witch, I keep forgetting her name. But it's got some goodies on it. It's got some chocolate frogs. See the chocolate frog? That's kind of cool. Uh, so she, I guess, pushes that on the train so that they can have snacks as they, as they go on their journey. Um, and then it comes with this little uh, push cart for I believe this would be Ron's push cart, right? Because Scabbers rides on it with his luggage. And this is the cart that they push through uh, the, the gate to nine and three quarters and then to put their luggage on the train so they can head to Hogwarts. So cool little details um, that are included with the set as well. All right, so that is the Hogwarts Express. This set retails, I believe, for $79.99. We actually got it on sale for $63.99, so you can definitely get it out there cheaper these days. Um, I think we picked it up at Target for $63.99. Um, cool set, I think for the money, like it's it's probably one of the best Harry Potter sets for the mm -hmm. money. Um, Jackson, what did you think about it? Well, I really liked it. I liked that they made the seats. I liked that they made um, the the door. I like that. I just like everything about the set. Yeah, lots of really cool details. I think it's a really playable set. Like you could sit and have fun with this and play with it. You could go with your other Harry Potter sets and combine them. Like we have Diagon Alley that we could put over here and, and you could have, you could have, I mean, you could spend hours playing with, with your Harry Potter Lego sets if you incorporated them all together. Um, but I do love the detail. Um, so I, I recommend checking this one out if you're a Harry Potter fan. All right, Jackson's gonna give us his rating of this set as a whole. Well, my rating would be a 9.8. 9.8, wow, so nearly perfect. Um, I am i don't think I'll rate this set, just because it's hard for me because I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. Um, I like Harry Potter, but I just don't know the ins and outs, so it's hard for me to rate it. As far as if I'm comparing it to other Lego sets that are Harry Potter that I have done myself, it's definitely like probably a 9.2 or 3, something along there. Um, it's one of my favorites. I mean, 
I didn't put it together, but I really like the detail and the playability that, that this set involves. So definitely a good one. All right, so this is the Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Express. Do you like it? Do you have it? What do you think of it? Comment below. Please like and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> and as always, keep on building. Bam! Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Somebody.